Neighbors are fuming over possible plans to make an iconic San Francisco home even more famous. The house used for the TV show Full House. It's always attracted fans to the Western edition, that neighborhood. And now the show's creator, who also happens to be the new owner, is doing some renovations. ABC 7 News reporter Cornell Bernard has the story. Thursday afternoon and this home on Broderick Street is getting lots of attention from tourists. My niece mm, tell me they, they want a picture about the, the, the house. I remember when I was a child. Hey, look alive! Uncle Jesse's here! Hey, Uncle Jesse! After all, it's the place where the Tanner family lived on TV's Full House and now the Netflix reboot Fuller House. Some believe the Victorian is one of the painted ladies from the opening credits. Neighbors like Andrea Scott Finney wish it was. We love the Full House idea, the movie, you know, we watched it, but I think it's just become a little bit too much. Neighbors shot video of what things look like outside the Fuller House on most weekends. It can be a traffic jam. Double parking, loitering, littering. Neighbors are taking their complaints to the Planning Commission. Interior renovations happening at the home have some believing the house you see on TV is being recreated inside for filming and possible public tours. I'm trying really hard to be a good neighbor. Jeff Franklin, the TV show's creator, bought the house earlier this year. He admits he may have announced plans to duplicate his TV home here, but has since scaled back those ideas. The set is not being replicated. We're doing a seismic uh, retrofit. On the house, we're, we're taking those very small rooms and creating a, a nice open floor plan. Franklin says he may rent out the home, but not for filming or public tours. As for the loyal fans who keep showing up, he's paid for these no double parking signs out front and hoping friends of the Tanner family will be quiet and respectful. In San Francisco, Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News.